Okay, back to the game and flick that thing over. Yay! Fringe Stalin's going to write an angry letter to my bosses. Do it, do it, do it, do it! <laughs> Stephen Jam, are you allowed to tell us what the current engine for the game is? It, it's an engine, I believe it's called Simis, it's a proprietary engine to Kuju, and it's the, it's the a number of generations on from the engine that originally powered Microsoft train sim, I think. It was sort of like the latest engine that Kuju used for making their games. It's not an engine that you, you'll know. Um, right, today you'll be driving the engine Empire Builder through Glacier National Park. You'll have to battle with freight trains and wild animals to close to the track. Let the passengers board here and wait for the signal ahead for the freight service to pass. Well, let the passengers board then. Cheers, Monty. Can I do a tutorial on how to publish a route? Uh, I believe I've got that in the backlog. I'll have a look. Moggy is going to write an angry letter to himself. Well, you be careful about that, Moggy. You might upset yourself. <laughs> All passengers have now boarded. Ahead is a herd of mountain goats that have wandered too close to the track. Goats are the official symbol of the Glacier National Park. A 15 miles per hour speed restriction is in action until you pass the goats. Watch your speed. Oops. Use that. Uh, I need to do that one. And I need to do that one. Sad Sack 1980, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Prince Stalin, I'm not allowed to talk about UE4. It's really simple. <laughs> uh, BNSF doesn't this have an author. Well, this, is, this is a dovetail official career scenario. It comes with the P42DC. Did I manage to find out about tunnel markers in the HUD for route design? I did, S. Gravesnet. I'm going to do that over the weekend or possibly tomorrow. We'll see how time goes. But I have um, had a play with it. It's essentially down to the type of track you use. There's nothing else you can do, unfortunately. You have to have basically proper tunnel track for it to show up. But I've worked out, because I know a couple of people have said, how do you make tunnels and put the decals in? And So I've been having a play with that today and refreshed my memory. So I'm basically going to lay a track, put a um, tunnel, uh, make it a tunnel, and then put the portals on and bury it underground. Just to give an example of how to make a, uh, a tunnel. Get away from my tracks. To the right is the herd of the mountain goats. The mountain goat is the official symbol for the Glacier National Park. The dust their bearings have become a little loose close to the track. We don't want to scare them and force them onto any track, so I probably shouldn't have blown my horn then. So a 15 miles per hour limit has been put in temporarily in place. Okay, fair enough. So I shouldn't have blown my horn then, is that what you're saying? Benicef, could I make a real tunnel? I don't know what you mean, make a real tunnel. You mean a real tunnel in the game? That's what I'm going to show. All right, French Stalin. Cheers, mate. Glacier Park main one east, we are stopping there. Stop a little bit too sharp. Just waiting for the brakes to come off now. 
can I model a real tunnel in the game? Um, I was going to model a tunnel. Uh, I'll leave it to you to actually have a look at uh, real tunnels and uh, how you model the real world. There's a stop here, yes, Moggy, because of the red light. One billion hex is now hosting. Thank you very much, one billion hex. Oops, better not go yet. <laughs> Still a red light. Get out of my way, train. Put some brakes on before we drift backwards. TV class 86. Forgive me, I'm still new to this, but is Finch starting the same guy who flies military jets into the floor? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stephen Jam. I don't remember seeing it, but thank you for the host. Appreciate it. How do dovetail people use the Google Map overlay and know where a tunnel is going if you can't see it on Google Map overlay? You can pretty much work it out, to be honest. Because it's normally not complex track under the uh, tunnel, and sometimes the surface features will tell you kind of, will give you a hint as to where the tunnel is, particularly if it's a cut and cover type tunnel. You can sort of see where the tunnel was done. Will the East Coast Main Line ever get better in the future? Jam Jam 45. Um, uh, do you mean the original Newcastle to York one? I mean, there are some workshop versions of it which are really good, actually, such as DPS's, um, Darren Porter's um, northeast um, route, um, which is very, very good. So, um, yes, but as to whether there's any official changes to it, I'm not aware of any, but I couldn't talk about them if I were, to be honest they've been officially announced. Moggy, did I miss your deep philosophical discussion on Steve's stream a few weeks ago on whether chips and crisps should count as one of your five a day? The clear answer is yes, obviously, uh, but I didn't see that. When did P42s get sent to the UK with tenders? I have no idea, Stephen Jam. You mean bigger? Um, yeah, I've, I've, again, the, uh, like I said, I'm not aware of any any plans afoot officially, and uh, if I was, I couldn't say anyway. So, Oh, I see what you mean, cab you, yes. I don't know if I've got a P-42. Have I got a P-42? No, let's go with that one instead. Browning Station's our next stop in uh, just a bit over 10 miles. Hey there, uh, Corbin. Welcome.
smoke is running again. Moki has a hankering for skips, but he doesn't have any. I feel like I missed a whistleboard back there somewhere, but at least let's blow the horn and let people know we're coming. Alright, we're starting to go downhill now. As stars, um, y you'll need to. I mean, the only place you can get the rear of train map, the the, glue, the map follower, is from the tool that Hopeless Hyena linked to earlier on, uh, and I believe that comes with instructions on how to use it. It's certainly not an official thing. It's something. This one is one that I've written myself, and I can't distribute this, so uh, it's a pain. Pulling back on the dynamic brakes now, just to balance the speed down here. Colin Davidson Willits, uh, I am streaming Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I don't know times yet for Saturday and Sunday, or what for Saturday and Sunday. I'll be doing the usual selection of scenarios for uh, Friday. Uh, and don't forget the advanced preview on the official channel at 5 o'clock as well. Um, oh, as stars, there's no instructions with it. Oh, well, in that case, uh, you'll need to wait and speak to... I've, I don't know how to install his application. You'll need to try and catch up with the author. Perhaps drop him an email. Um, all right, Dave. We'll enjoy the uh, wedding. Adam Gamer, when DTG designs routes, do you actually go on a real train and record it, or do they do it via Google? Um, whoops, I missed another one. <laughs> Watching the chat, and I'm not paying any attention to what I'm doing. Um. It's a combination of things, really. Get cab ride DVDs, um, s s working timetables, schematic maps, track plans. Um, tr try and get on the actual, do a cab, an actual cab ride journey, and film it ourselves. Um, that's pretty rare. Um, it's 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 basically everything you can possibly find. Sometimes it's just googling for images, as or it's, it's as well. It's googling for images. Uh, and finding the images, uh, you know, because you can find images of things then that you might not nor have seen in any other form, or a clearer version of it. Um, it's really just anything and everything you can get hold of. Cheers, Adama! Right, using the dynamics now just to ease down to the 55 as we come down, continue our way down this grade. Right, that was a short 14L because I saw that they didn't see the board again. Is that the, that's the board for this one. I don't know why I'm finding the board so hard to see on this route. BNSF, do I know what preview it is tomorrow? I do. Can I tell you? I'm afraid not. Um, you'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See that was a whistle board facing that was a board facing the other way, so that can't have been mine.
keep getting requests for a shave and a haircut. Other than someone really does just think they have long hair, I don't know. They can't be asking me of that, that I should have a haircut, that would seem extreme. Right, dynamic breaks off, now we can uh, continue on the uh, on the journey. Uh, do I know what the official stream time is? Yes, tomorrow it is at 5 o'clock at, at the normal time for the uh, DLC Advance Preview. Oops. Right, let's get these dynamic brakes to use Dike on again. What was the first project I worked on for DTG? So the first third party thing I published was the Virtual Railroad BR143 expert line, and I wrote the manual for that, um, as well as publishing it with, uh, with them. Um, and the first first party content I worked on was the Southern Class 4214 SIG. That was the first one. I wrote the scenarios for that one. And, uh, someone else did the reskins and then I put it all together and made it a pack. Welcome back, Axieg. Uh, BNSF, yes, I've made official scenarios. I made all, I made all the scenarios in the, four, the Southern Four Sig pack. I think that's the only time I've made official scenarios, though. There comes Browning Station.
BNSF, what's the average time a DTG employee spends making efficient stuff? I have no idea what that is these days. No idea at all. Good night, Steve, class 86. JPT says 14 days to go for TS 2016. It's very, very close, isn't it? How long did it take for me to make the one? I can't remember why that was a long time ago now. Quite a while. Um, actually, it can't have been that long. I was doing that and doing other, doing my normal day job at the same time, so it can't have taken that long. Trying to get at least one coach, maybe, on the uh, platform. Oh, we've got the Gagas car on the platform. Apparently it's not happy with that. Let's back up. Oh, I think it's because there's no actual coaches on the platform. Let's have a look. Oh, it did. Hey, Darkness, I hope all is well. Sorry to hear about hospital. Uh, BNSF says it, he says it takes him probably two to three hours for making a scenario. As a general rule, allow one hour of, uh, of time for a scenario per ten minutes that the scenario is. So if it's a thirty minute scenario, allow three hours to make it. If it's a 90 minute scenario, allow nine hours to make it. And if you're doing it in less than that, you're probably not doing it right. Um, because I include testing, 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 and more testing in that time. Um, yeah, as a general rule. Because if you think about it, if you're making a 90 minute scenario, it has to take you a minimum of 90 minutes to run it, to build it. Because you've got to run it at least once. More often than not, you're going to have a problem with it. So if you're making a 90-minute scenario, you're going to run it at 90 minutes per time over and over again. And if you're not doing that, then you're not testing your scenario properly. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear about that, Darkness. Thoughts are with him. Hopefully all is good.
aerodynamic brake switch back on. Five Chili says when he tries try making complex scenarios he gets so burned out on testing you never want to see the scenario again. That's basically that means you're doing it right, to be honest. If you're making complex scenarios, by the time you're done with it, you are so bored of it you never want to see it again. That is exactly how it goes. Every scenario I've ever written it was like that. I did all the scenarios on Seven Valley Railway, um, for MSTS, for Microsoft Train Sim. Um, the commercial add-on I did all the scenarios out about 13 scenarios some of which were fairly lengthy and yeah I just I didn't even want to see Microsoft train sim again for about three months after doing that you know as much fun as I have playing the game I was so done with it <laughs> What's the longest I think the scenario should be? <sighs> to be honest, I don't think there's much point making a scenario longer than one hour. And I absolutely don't see the point making a scenario more than 90 minutes. Because um, I know for a fact people don't play them. Uh, or if they do play them, they never finish them. Um, it's, people just, they run the scenario and then they press escape thir between 30 and 60 minutes into the scenario um, the the sweet spot is actually between 30 and 45 minutes um, that's where you'll find most people play it and succeed at the scenario um, beyond that it starts getting um, less good so yeah, there's some long scenarios from Marias. There's also some long scenarios on Donna. They were sort of done before we have a really good understanding of what was actually what actually made sense and what people would play. I have got the official DTG ports for Threat Line, and I've got Darren Porter's one as well because that's on Steam Workshop. Seek, you'll find if you're creative with start points and end points or something, play the career scenarios that come that that have been done with it. You'll see where um, you get um, changeovers and stopping at red lights and things like that, where that it provides an end or a start to the next scenario. Um, so. Darkness Monster, the thing is, other people need to test the scenario because they'll potentially run differently on different people's machines. Um, I mean, we, uh, the QA team at the company have got um, a wide range of different computers made with different hardware, so some AMD, some NVIDIA, um, some faster, some slower, some people who drive sort of more aggressively, some people who drive less aggressively, and 
that means that they can find all sorts of strange things like that. Because, uh, yeah, any, any, if you write a scenario and only you test it, it can run perfectly for you. The very next person that runs it, it'll run completely bonkers. Colin Davidson says he's with Cobb. If there's a long scenario, as long as there's lots to do, happy. If it was drive 60 miles, no stops and AI, then forget it. Um, no, I didn't look at your ICTD scenario. I'll try and look at that this weekend and couple up them out when I'm um, playing around. So we've got a 35 limit coming up, so we just accelerate back to 35. Going by a Blackfoot main 2. I think we're going to get a great score at the end of this somehow. 10 miles to uh, Pegan Main 2. <coughs> 79 miles an hour, Fringe would love this. Got what looks uh, about another two or three hundred points, possibly. So I might get a silver. Might get a silver. JM. We're doing alright for time, we're actually about 30 seconds ahead of schedule, we'll just have to see if we can keep that up. Oh, Darkness, thanks for looking after the family on the uh, Wednesday stream on the mine down the mine shaft. I've <laughs> heard all sorts of stories about that. I got the 14 l rather wrong there, I was too busy focusing on getting the speed correct.
coming back up to the 79 limit. Good night, that. Good night, BNSF. Hopefully, see you tomorrow on the preview. Just trying to keep an eye on the speed, keep that distance, keep that uh, that ETA looked after. Show the fish, had news about these 707s. Oh, excuse me. No, I haven't. Uh, Sano, hey. Uh, no, Evan Stevens, what am I previewing tomorrow? Um, I can't say at the moment, um, but uh, it'll be announced tomorrow on Facebook in the morning, I hope. I'm looking forward to it, that much I know. Oops. Yeah, Colin, this is just using the 3.5mm jacks, because not only that, then I get the benefit of the um, Sound Blaster hardware inside the laptop, which you don't get with a USB. I know, that was a fail of a 14L. I've done nothing but fail, I think I've got about two right so far. I'm Problem is, I'm looking at the chat, so I miss the uh, the little tiny whistle boards. By the time I see the junction, I'm I'm on it. Things exterior views aren't conducive to good quality driving, but they are much better and more entertaining to watch. So. Cheers Strat Shadow, thanks for joining. Whew. Oh dear, oh dear. Getting tired now. Maybe with this view you can see the outside and I can see the whistle boards as they fly past. realised at the last minute that uh, I had seen a whistleboard. Cutback Creek is actually where we're finishing. So that's in 14 and a half miles.
Joe wants to see the map. Oops, that's not the map. That's the map. So, uh, yeah, that's Marias Pass. Shelby on the right. Over the mountain. And then you've got Whitefish and uh, that other place down the bottom here. Cas Kalispell. Couple of them out. What headset do I use? Um, hold on a minute. Let me just have a quick look for it. It's by Gamecom. It's a cheap one, but it's really good. Absolutely have no complaints about it at all. Gamecom 780? That sort of looks like it. I don't know if that's it though, whether that's a more expensive version. Let me look at Amazon and find something cheap and nasty. It'll probably be that one. Gamecom 388 seems more likely. Or a Gamecom 380. One of them too. No, the 780's got red bits on it. This hasn't got any red bits on it. This is the cheap version. Mind you, the 788's only 38 quid now. I don't know what the difference between the 388 and the 380 is. So, this one's got 3.5mm um, jacks, if that makes a difference. there, that's not good. I still want to sniff through the 750 and get that silver medal. Or sliver, what do we call that? If it's not, you've got glod and borns, what's, what's the, uh, what's the sliver? Silver. <laughs> Problem your headset should not be sitting on your ears. You should be holding it by this, not on your ears. I can't feel anything at all on my ears, and it's not because they're numb. there Tyler, I am very good, thank you. At this rate the sliver is going to uh, slither away. Sure, Dave. What are we looking at? 7.8 miles to our waypoint. Are we going east or west? Uh, that's a good point. I think we're heading west, actually. 
No, we're heading east, uh, so is what I know. So we're uh, on the way to Shelby, actually. Cheers, Moggy. Thanks for stopping by. board on that one again and probably three or four more that I missed completely didn't even realise I was going over. Cheers darkness, have a good uh, night's sleep and I uh, hope your uh, father is well. limit coming up shortly. That's not a crossing, that's uh, a uh, one of those track device things. That is though. Fourteen L's are getting worse, I tells you. Let's get the dynamic brakes on and get it eased down to fifty. Probably need some air to help us, but let's see how we get on. Dave, you calling me old? You're probably not wrong, but... <laughs> Right, use the dynamics just to maintain speed down the hill. <laughs> what have I got that HUD on for? I don't need that HUD. Well, that's good, Dave, as long as you're calling the invisible behind me, uh, visible person behind me, the names, that's, that's fine. Is there really an invisible person behind me? <laughs> Thanks for the host, Stephen Jam.
Struggling to make up time on this one, this leg. Good night, Signalman. There is Cutbank Creek Main 2, which is before a signal, so I guess we can hold on a signal. The last one's a yellow, actually, so it was an approach, so... Yes, I would guess we are. Just spotted another crossing that I hadn't seen the whistleboard for. And stop. What do we get? 777? Yes! We've successfully completed this scenario. We just about scraped our uh, sliver. Boing! We got our silver medal. Excellent. Pitiful score, though, it has to be said. Never mind. Right, was there any AI in this? Yes, there was a little bit at the beginning. <laughs> Excellent. Right, well, that's me done, folks. Thanks very much for watching. <sighs> These days, Thursdays and Fridays, just feel like really long days just because I stream twice. <laughs> Never mind. It's all good fun and it's all trains. Therefore, that's all that matters. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, 5 o'clock, on the Dovetail channel and we'll have a look at some, uh, some new unreleased stuff. Uh, and then back to my channel for 9.30 and we'll look at some other released stuff. Right. Uh, thanks very much, everyone. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.